Hey everyone, and welcome back to Jack and Daxter. Today we're going to Misty Island, the last area, well, the last level, the first area of the game, I guess you could say. The sage is going to explain to us uh, what's going on over there. I wanted to talk with you two about something serious. There appears to be quite a bit of lurker activity on Misty Island. I can see them bombarding the precursor silo from my lookout tower. If the lurkers open it up and release the dark eco, we could all end up running around looking as ridiculous as this annoying little specimen. So yeah, needless to say, we need to go over there and take care of some shit. Get the fisherman to let you take his boat. Along the way, though, we're also gonna get some power cells, another 150 precursor orbs. Which, by the way, I've decided to call them POs because chances are, like. For the rest of this LP, I'm going to be calling them precursors or something else like that. So, screw it. I'm just going to call them POs. So anyway, uh, Samos basically said, get your asses over to Misty Island and, you know, stop the lurkers from unleashing the dark eco into the world. But, here's the question. How the hell do we get to Misty Island? And even more importantly, why am I going this way? Well, I'll tell you why. We actually have to go in here because this is a house we've neglected before. But here's a character who's actually kind of significant in terms hey! of. Uh... Will Fury do? Ah, forget it. I could explain it, but it is a cutscene after all. I thought for a moment you were my muse. Yeah, you know what? Haven't you ever seen a muse before? It's a little glowing squirrel. I like what they did with the muse in this game. I mean, they actually turned it into a little creature. On top of that, it's a fast little creature. It's it's a bitch of a creature. It's very hard to catch, as a matter of fact. And that's the first thing we have to do when we get to Misty Island. That's how you get the first the first power cell. Oh god, we're we gonna have to start calling them PCs now. POs and PCs. No, I'm not gonna go that far. We're gonna just leave it POs and power cells. I think she ran away to that Misty Island. Yeah, Misty Island is. I just hope she's all right. That's not any harder than Forbidden Junk. Actually, it's easier to die. That's just because it's like, there are constantly pitfalls everywhere. It's very easy just to fall in somewhere and die. That and the fact that some of the enemies there actually take two hits to kill. So if you hit them and get, if you hit them and get knocked back. Oh shit, sorry, wrong way. Sometimes I get confused because all these houses look the same. So bear with me. Once we get there, I'll be fine. I know where I'm going by now. Out of practice. In any case, um, I, I'm sorry, I completely forgot what I was saying before. Oh yeah, so a lot of pitfalls and some of the enemies, um, you hit them, you bounce off of them, and then like while you're recovering from that, they get, they go in and hit you, and that happens a lot, and that gets really annoying, so I'm gonna try not to die too often, but I'm telling you, there are going to be some deaths, and I'll try to edit them out as best as I can. Not the entire thing to make it look like I didn't die. But enough so that you don't have to worry about having me get back there. Or having to watch me get back there, because that's not really important. The important thing is that you see me get through everything. These are the guys I was talking about. See how you kind of get knocked back? See, already we found the views. This is probably the hardest task in the, the whole level, so... Just... Um, have a little patience, uh, please, because, uh, and know that this is going to be the hardest thing. So in other words, if you do this and you don't have an easy time catching the views, I wouldn't be discouraged because this is easily the hardest task in this whole level. You get through that and the rest is just sort of figuring out where you're going, um, finding all the POs, which is, you know, always a bit of a task in itself. Now, we're gonna get it, but first I wanna get the POs up here, and the first scout fly level. So, what do you guys think of uh, Misty Island? I think it's pretty cool. It always reminded me of the Elephant Graveyard from The Lion King. More specifically, uh, the Pride Lands level from Kingdom Hearts 2. I mean, the other way around. When I first started playing Kingdom Hearts 2, I'm like, damn, this is like Misty Island from Jack and Daxter. I wonder if anyone else had that, uh, anyone else made that connection. I don't know what I'm doing, that's that's later on, that's after we catch the muse, I'm sorry about that. Now, where is the little bitch? Where did she go? Gotta find her. Don't find her soon, I'm gonna be pissed, I don't wanna spend the whole video looking for her. It should take a few minutes, but... 
still, I mean, damn. If I start speeding it up, I'm sorry, but gotta do what I gotta do, and I wanna get, I'm not even gonna get a power cell, because I'd have to go back to the sculptor in order to get it, so. If that's all I accomplish, and I don't even get any power cells, I'm gonna feel really bad about this whole video. And, um, I would've recorded earlier on, but I had a bunch of work for English and for AP Biology, and it's fucking annoying. It's like, I don't wanna do this shit, I just wanna LP. It's a lot more fun. Which is pretty obvious, but... Whatever. So anyway, I don't recommend trying to get her up here, because if you try to roll, I didn't just now, but most likely you'll fall. I usually do. And it's hard to hit her anyway. You gotta try to trap her, like, go ahead of her. And that was actually... That really didn't help me demonstrate my point. That makes it look a lot easier than it really was. That was just lucky. That was just lucky of me. Normally, when you when you go in front of her, she just switches and runs around the other way, and you still can't get her, and you kind of have to keep going back and forth until you finally get to a point where you're going faster than she is. Normally, you don't get a chance that early on, so, again, don't feel discouraged. You don't get her right away. I've already practiced this a few times, so... So anyway, yeah. We got another scout fly, some POs. We actually have some more POs and another scout fly up here. Now, this... I tend to die a lot every time I do this, just because... Either I die, or I miss the P.O.s. So, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna jump in there, because I don't know how the hell else to do this. I'm gonna jump in there, I'm gonna die, and then I'm, meet, I'm gonna meet you right back here. Actually, to be completely honest, I changed my mind about that, because there's really no, no need to go over there. There's nothing important we have to do over there, anyway. But, with all this blue eco, we can activate a little platform over here, and get, like, the first real power cell of the level. And I just missed it! What the fuck? How did I do that? Oh, that sucks! That would have been so cool if I just did that in one sitting. Didn't have to worry about screwing up. Because I was worried about this. I screw up a lot in my practice file. But so far, I was doing pretty well here. And now I'm getting hit. I'm getting yelled at by Daxter. But I activated this thing, at least. I really thought I was about to fall off it. And, we, and we're only like seven minutes in. Okay, no, eight minutes. Without any editing, but... So far, there isn't all that much to edit. Uh, anyway. Alright. I have time for at least that. I'm gonna get some of these P the these POs. And I think there are a couple over there that I missed because I was in a rush because I had a limited amount of uh, blue eco. That was lucky. I hate when you see. That's exactly why I hate fighting two of them. Anyway, as I was saying, that's why I hate fighting two of them, because you bounce off one automatically. So if you happen to just land in the path of the other one, there's nothing you can do about that. I mean, I'm not trying to justify the fact that I'm not amazing at this game, but still. Anyway, I don't have a lot of time left, so... Let me just explain this quickly, and then I'm going to speed this up. Uh, as soon as I walk in here, I'm going to be ambushed by a whole bunch of lurkers coming from each side. So all you have to do is basically kick the crap out of them, and stay alive in the process. And that's pretty much it. Then you get a power cell up there. And I think I'm going to start speeding up now. In case I don't speed up, I might as well explain Red Eco here. Basically, it makes your attack stronger. And you can do the Jack and Daxter version of the ground pound and actually kill surrounding enemies with the force of its impact. But if I'm speeding this up, you didn't get any of that. Most likely. So anyway, we're done. Uh, that was simple enough. I tend to get, I tend to die whenever I go in there with just, like, one health bar. I didn't even get hit this time. I'm doing pretty well. Wow. I'm grateful. This has been kind of a doozy in my practice fall. So anyway, we're almost out of time. I just want to go over the... the red eco, as you just saw. 
basically it increases your attack strength. It makes it so that those other guys, the ones with the bone clubs, you could actually just get them in one hit. So it's pretty convenient in that sense. Um, sorry if I just made the camera shake. I I hit the table with my wrist. Sorry about that. Anyway, um, so that's basically it. When I meet you guys next time, we're actually going to be going over here. This is the next area. I know it looks like the same, but as that door we came in, but that door is obviously over there, so that's pretty much it. I'm going to see you guys next time on Let's Play Jack and Daxter, Part 10.